I have slept in this morning. I have slept in. Does it count as sleeping in if you've gone to bed extremely late the night before? Because I would like to argue that I'm actually just on my same sleep schedule. Just the times are changed. <laughs> anyway, so this morning, um, honestly, I just wanted to start the vlog because I feel like I have so many things to chat with you guys about and update you on and random things. First being the camel toe. <laughs> I posted this revelation on my Instagram the other day. I have gone through my entire existence wearing workout pants of, of this kind with the little front seam, okay? I played sports in high school. Like, leggings have been around for me for a very, very long time, and it's never occurred to me. Like, this was an, an age-old debate that I have seen on the internet. Do you or do you not <laughs> feel bonita? <laughs> do you or do you not wear underwear? with your leggings and I never have, it never made sense to me. Even when I was doing spin, like it didn't matter what I was doing. I never wore underwear because I'm like, this is, this is underwear. In my, in my old Alberta classification, these are like long johns. These are the layer that you put on underneath pants, you know? <laughs> and I get so sweaty after I work out that I have to take them off immediately anyway and change. Like it, it is underwear. It's like my workout underwear. So I just never wore underwear with my leggings. It, it didn't make sense to wet another layer with my sweat and to have another layer like rubbing at my flippity flaps, okay? So it's never something I did. It's never something I necessarily thought about. And then I remember seeing people talking about it and a lot of people were like, that's disgusting. How could you not wear underwear with your leggings? And it was just this funny thing that I've always, whatever, the debate has been there. And now I don't know what had switched for me in the last couple of weeks, but I suddenly can't possibly exist without wearing a thong with my pants. And I don't know why, I don't know why, but lately the, the front seam has just been riding so far up the flippity lippities and itching it and irritating it in such a way that it's just, I can't go back. I don't know what to do. And even now I've got a thong on and I'm still pulling it out. Are they getting lower? Are they dangling? further down to the earth. I don't know what is happening, but I'm a completely changed woman and now I cannot wear leggings without underwear and I don't know what's going on. I hate it because you can always see it. Even like this is a seamless, seamless thong and you can still see it. You see it and I hate it. I guess that's one of the main, actually I didn't state that before. That's one of the main reasons why I never wore underwear. I'm like, you can see it. The point of wearing a thong or a G-string or seamless underwear is so that you don't see the seam. And then you see someone with like a giant line across the leggings. I'm like, let's just not. Anyway, uh, so this is me now. And these are Lululemon leggings. I actually bought them quite recently because they were on sale and I was like, wow, I love that color, how fun. But yeah, the front seam, why is the front seam a thing? Why can't we have those magical leggings that just have the little cup, the little bubble? And I had gotten a package recently from Crop Shop Boutique and they had sent me their seamless front leggings and it was a magical thing. I'm not wearing those right now, but I am wearing this lovely sports bra from Crop Shop Boutique. They sent me a package including this sports bra, which I love so much, I went back and ordered all the other colors because it's so comfortable. I love it. Uh, yeah, so there's my spiel on the front seam for you on this fine morning. Do you or do you not agree? Anyway, it'll just be me and my camel toe gracing you this morning. <laughs> Another little update that I have to share with the class. Uh, I went to the chiropractor the other day and got my hips cracked. This information is helpful to absolutely nobody unless you happen to be going through a similar thing. If you guys have watched me for a long time, then you've certainly heard me whine and moan over my back pain, hip pain, shoulder pain, constant. Like it's not a normal amount. Anytime I go to see a chiropractor, a massage therapist, they always tell me that I have a very abnormal amount of muscle soreness and pain and nodding and it's not how it should be. So recently the chiropractor said that my hips are not aligned, but in a way that can't be fixed with cracking, which he's tried to do before. So now we're testing out some... Jesus, have it. You know when you just lose the word? I had this word. I just saw the chiropractor. Is it orthopedics? It just leaves me. This is why I need caffeine. I'm caffeine. Anyway, I got a level C, which apparently is very thick. <laughs> and now I'm to wear that inside all day long for a week until I go back to see him and see if that helps. And it's pretty crazy. This is the level in which I need to make my hips stand evenly. So that's a fun little update for you. I'm turning 30 in approximately two and a half weeks and this seems like an appropriate time for my body to start officially falling apart. <laughs> On that delightful note, let's go make breakfast because I need to show you my new updated and improved hyperfixation meal. Wow. Dan's already on the waffle making game. <laughs> Shit, they're right there. Oh, guys. Did you? Oh, see, this is 
what I said, I instant, instant red. The, the guys are right outside the window. And that's my usual little filming spot. What do I do? Do I just stare into their eyes as I film? No, I just wait for them. Okay. <laughs> now, the new hyper fixation meal is Kodiak waffle mix. No, Kodiak power mix. <laughs> Sorry guys, we got rid of the box. We just have the bags, but the Kodiak mix. We had it sitting in our pantry forever, ever, ever. And I recently did a big clear out of the pantry and we decided to revisit the Kodiak mix after my mom got us a waffle maker. I don't know what it is about the magic of the waffle maker specifically, but I didn't love the pancake form. I'll make them, I'll eat them occasionally, but the waffle is another story and I've been making it every day. I make it very differently to how Dan makes it. He does not approve of my methods, but I basically, don't measure anything and I just add water until it's so liquidy that it doesn't make sense. And then I put it in the waffle maker and that's that. Dan makes fun of me every morning when I make this. <laughs> now I firmly believe in my very little experience of using this waffle maker that more liquidy my mixture the fluffier the waffle. I don't like a dense waffle. I don't like a chewy waffle. I just want it to be fluffy and airy and divine. And adding more water makes it so. So while the waffle is cooking, I'll show you my little topper mixture. Peanut butter powder. Now, did you know, this is the no sugar added one. The other one, if you look at the PB2, whatever, the one that's all over Amazon and all that, it has sugar. That whole time I had thought I'd just been eating plain peanut butter powder and alas, it was a sugary mixture, which is not nice. So I got the no sugar added version, just to know that there is a difference. Then I put the little monk fruit, stevia, cinnamon, salt, and a little bit of water, or a lot of it. Now I also don't mind this being overly liquidy and I've realized in my life that I don't mind overly liquidy things because I just want my food to be wet. I don't like dry food and that's it. So this is basically wetting my waffle. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it could sit for longer, but anyway. Perfection. I make two waffles, BT dubs, and I usually eat the first one while the second one is cooking. Another addition to the waffle is this spray that Dan kindly found for us. Where did you get this, Dan? Was it at Walmart or Safeway? Oh, Safeway in the States. A few of the, the guys he watches on YouTube always talk about this spray and it's, I can't believe it's not butter spray. And the problem, like, listen, I love butter. I love butter. My mom said that when I was a kid, I used to just eat gobs of butter with my fingers and that still holds true to this day doesn't really fit into the program. This is a little substitute until that day where we can be reunited. It actually smells like butter. It's kind of crazy. And that my friends is the waffle. Um, you will die to see what I have on my body right now. Look at my outfit. <laughs> I let the day go on way too long. I had a meeting, I had a call with Vanessa. We had chats with the landscapers, the guys, the team who are here. And then I needed to film. So I just, my workout is happening tonight, I guess. So this is the beauty, a little sneak peek of when I film videos, I put the top on and here I am. So I did film this look. Hopefully you guys would have already seen this, but very pink, very fresh. And then I just wash it off. Sometimes I actually leave the house with the makeup looks I do, but on days like today, it's just a, a stay at home day, isn't it? Listen, another turn of events. I don't know if you guys gathered this earlier in the video, but it was pissing rain. It has been such a dark couple of days and the sun hath come out this afternoon. The sun is shining. So we didn't think we'd be able to go do our park walk, but we are absolutely gonna do a park walk. So can't wait, gonna finish the day off with a walk in our workout, but for now, we have some business to attend to, you and I, here today. On the weekend, another little story for you. I, I was actually having a really bad day. I was having a bad day. I was on the phone with my mom, just like stressing out. I was trying to film a video, but like my stress was so oozing into my soul, I couldn't get it together. I was on the phone with my mom, just bitching, telling her all my woes and she had booked us in to go see the Barbie movie a few weeks ago. She really wanted all of us girls to go, so she booked it for me and my sisters, 
And I knew that like it was in the calendar. I was going to meet with my mom. I was on the phone with her, you know, bitching as I was on my way to the movie theater. And then I get there and my mom had set up a surprise birthday party slash bridal shower for me. And listen, if you don't know, my birthday's August 11th. I am still 29. I have not turned 30 yet. It is not my birthday. My birthday's a couple weeks away. So I was absolutely floored. I was so surprised. I have actually never been so surprised ever. Like I had no idea she was planning this. My girlfriends were there. My mom's friend was there. My sisters were there. Like it was just a huge gaggle of gals. Everyone was dressed up in pink and she had set up a full party, like candy bags and everything had matching pink glasses for everyone. And we watched the Barbie movie and I was so shocked. It was the cutest thing ever. We watched the Barbie movie, had a great time. She was so cute. And she was like, I'm doing this early because it's the only way I can surprise you. Like I can't surprise you if it's on your birthday, you'll know something's happening. So she had set this all up, like so crazy, so cute. I was just blown away. And then we finished the movie and I was saying bye to everybody. I was chatting with the girls. My mom was like, oh, I gotta run. Gotta go meet up with my girls. She has her like Outlander show watching nights with her girlfriends every Sunday. So I was like, okay, mom, I love you. Thank you so much. This was so cute. And then I was chatting with the girls and I went and like sat in my car and I called Dan and I was like, Dan, you won't believe this. Mom surprised me. Blah, blah, blah. I'm on the phone with him, you know, sitting, having a chat before I made my way home and then drove home, walk inside my house. Lo and behold, Dan, had fully set up the house, like was totally in cahoots with my mom and the girls, set up the house, got birthday cake. He made pink margaritas, like ordered us sushi. He had cleaned the house, like in the two hours that I was gone <laughs> watching this Barbie movie, Dan had completely set up the house. He even got a printed thing that said happy 30th on the cake in like the Barbie font. I'm like blown away. So my mom had obviously set up this whole surprise, but also Dan set up the entire surprise at home and I had no idea, not an inkling he was doing this. He's so sneaky. And they had a surprise little dinner following the movie and I couldn't believe it. I posted a couple of the clips on Instagram and I was just, I was weeping. The girls made me like a scrapbook of our bachelorette and I just, I couldn't like, sometimes I just have these moments where you kind of can't fathom people's love. Like I'm quite a, I'm a very loving and generous person for sure, but I'm not good at like thoughtful gifts. Like gift giving really stresses me out. Like Dan and I don't really do gifts and whatnot. We kind of just like to do time together and whatever. I don't know. I, I struggle with gift giving. And so when I get these very thoughtful, elaborate, loving moments from my friends and family, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't even know how to comprehend. And it was the cutest thing. It was such an unsuspected surprise. Like I, yeah, mom, girls, Lara, Dan, I love you all so much. That was crazy. So right now in my, my program, my current daily goal for steps is 15,000 steps. And a day like today where I've slept in and we don't leave the house and it was raining, we had to do a really really long walk so we actually did like an hour and a half loop of the park and then we went and charged the car and just did a little stroll so it was a long eve i came back i did my workout i just filmed i did a little tiktok of my workout and i'm just editing that right now it's literally 11 55 p.m we need to be up so early tomorrow i really screwed myself on my timing tonight but yeah i'm just editing this little leg day workout if you want to see what i did i'll link it on the tiktok i know that's annoying because a lot of people technically don't have TikTok, but I'm really, I'm having fun with TikTok. I'm feeling a little bit free on TikTok right now. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a moment. So I'm just relishing in it, you know? Uh, then we are gone all day tomorrow. So I've also just been like portioning my meals, getting those ready to go in the fridge. And I'm also making myself a little evening tea. So it's just all of it. This came, I think, I think this came in a benefit PR package. I think it was benefit. So thank you so much to the benefit team, but they had sent the Citroen Calm Sloan nighttime tea and I love it. I've been having it that night, obviously. And speaking of benefit, this was also a gift they had sent to us back in Toronto. We've had our little smeg kettle from the benefit team ever since. Obviously it's all pink. Just love you benefit. Thank you. Meryl is screaming because she wants more treats. Ugh, she just can't stop at one. Naughty, naughty girl. That's been the day. What a day. Okay, the face is washed. I'm gonna admit something to you. And I'm being honest with you because 
I just have a feeling that someone might comment on it, but I'm not accepting judgment in this moment. I eel what I eel. It's currently almost 1 a.m. Oh my God, it's almost 1 a.m. I need to be up at six. This is devastating. And I just simply sometimes do not have it in me to shower my body. Did I need to tell you that? No, but I am because it's the truth. Again, my fam, take with that what you will and just know that I am just washing my face. And I will be working out first thing tomorrow and I promise you I will take a very hot, scrubby shower in the morn. <laughs> um, anyway, for my face, I'm doing a little, kind of just full face Cotalie moment, honestly. I am squeezing, I don't know if you just saw that, but I'm squeezing the last succulent remnants of this. When I'm actually using my eye cream every day, it's shocking how quickly I go through this. Then a top secret little product that we got a little sneak peek of and I've been using, oh my God, so excited to tell you guys about this. I actually don't know if I'm allowed. I could possibly be allowed to right now. I feel like I saw people posting it, but until I get the go ahead from Caudalie, I will not, but this is a magical product. Very exciting for them and Z intensive research that they've been doing. Um, also, I mentioned my little product empties the other day and mentioned that I've been using the Premier Crew Rich Cream at night. And look at that. Nice thing about this one, I am done, but it is refillable, which is cool. You take the little tub out, got the glass container and you can refill it. I'm gonna probably use up the last morsels here, but it's very hard to scoop that out when you have nails. Oh my gosh, I also didn't say that this entire day. I broke my nail this morning. Can you see that? So sad. Ugh. Anyway. Here's another empty. I love this. I just, speaking of almost empty, I actually just also use that Tower 28 Save Our Skin Spray. And that one's almost gone too. Feels fab. And that's it. Is it? No, I need my lip, my Laneige sleeping mask. Lip sleeping mask, but in chocolate. This one was from Cult Beauty and I freaking love the flavor. It literally smells like a chocolate angel dessert. And yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Short and sweet, little simple, but very, I mean, very bougie little nighttime skincare there. I shall remove my puff. <laughs> Still gotta get steps while I'm washing my face. <laughs> oh, shit. I was just talking to you for 12,000 years and I realized I didn't grab the mic. LOL. Listen, I was just telling you that I went to the bathroom and back to the bathroom and put the new Caudalie spot treatment on because it's fabulous. And I didn't realize that a giant white sit on my chin. So rude. LOL at my hair. It makes me feel like singing the song. This is real. This is me. This is exactly why I am slimy. Oh, let it be known. I can't hold the mic and the camera. What will I do? I wanted to give you a brief book update because I finished tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and I hated it. I hated it. I couldn't believe that it blew up on um, book talk as much as it did. But it's still exciting because it's technically the first book I've read in 2023, which is really embarrassing. But this is the book I'm on to next. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm loving it so far. I'm that way that way i'm that much into it liking it so far i've been going to bed way too late recently to be putting any good dent in it but i'm excited to see where it goes if any of you read it obviously let me know your thoughts that's the next book uh guys i'm gonna love you and leave you good morning this is the earliest i've been up in a hot minute but i simply must hop straight to it and straight to my workout because i've got no time to dilly dally but i am gonna have some athletic greens to start I haven't had it for a bit, but I feel like I need it today. <laughs> Is that something I needed? With all due respect and love, I'm not going to record my workout this morning because I have about 35 minutes to get through it. So I just got to hop to it. <laughs> love you all. See you after. It is a miracle that I did not just spill food all over my shirt while I was getting ready. That was one of the faster little moments that I've had. Finished my workout, did a quick little, well, it's actually like my upper body and core day. And then I showered. I just um, like half blowed my, half blow dried my hair, letting the rest air dry because it just, well, to be frank, I don't have time to do my hair. I've underestimated how little time I actually had to get ready this morning, but I got to get ready because we are heading out of the house, going downtown. We actually have like quite a bizarre little funny day. Starting with going to see Oppenheimer. We're both really excited to see the movie, but 
It was also really hard to get tickets. So we're going at 10 a.m. But we have to drive there. So yeah, that's why we're having such an early morning because we wanted to go see <laughs> Oppenheimer. That's hilarious to me. Not the usual start to the day, is it? I'm gonna use the same products on my face. So I'm not gonna talk through it, but I'm just gonna tell you guys a funny story while I slap this quick little makeup look on. I'm also sorry that I keep checking the viewfinder. That must be annoying to have shifty eyes. And I'm just constantly aware of the fact that it could be going out of focus because that happens to me all too often. What base am I putting on? Oh, I forgot I used my brush for blush. Crap. Oh, that's so devastating. Okay, anyway, so the other day uh, I was downtown with the gals and we were sitting having, I don't even remember what we were doing actually. I think we were just having lunch. Maybe we met up for coffee, whatever. We were like sitting on the little picnic benches out in Yelltown and this group of people comes up and they have like cameras, mics and stuff. And I was so nervous because you know, you see all of these like TikTok videos of people being stopped on the street and like just asking random questions. And I, I was I was scared because even though I technically record myself for a living, I get an intense stage fright when there's other people watching. And they came up and they were like, hey girls, like we're doing a partnership with Wendy's. Like we're just asking a couple questions if you have time Time and we'll give you like a free Wendy's breakfast coupon or whatever. And I was like, that's hilarious. All the girls were like, no, 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 it's okay. Thank you. I was like, I can't, I'm on the program, LOL. But then the girls were like, no, why not do it, do it more. So I said, okay, sure. Like, what are the questions about? And they were like, oh, we're gonna ask you some questions about gaming. I was like, shit. <laughs> And they were like, what games do you play? And I was like, Pokemon and old school RuneScape? Like nothing new and cool. And I pulled up my like old school RuneScape app and I was like, here's my ancient game that I refuse to get rid of. Like, I don't know any up-to-date games, whatever. And he was like, that's cool. Like I know RuneScape. I'll ask you a simple question. Like where does your starter guy spawn? And I was like, oh no. Cause here's the thing. What I've realized in that moment is in that moment, she knew she fucked up. I'm not a true gamer right? Like I don't join like gaming communities. I don't speak the lingo. Even when he said the word spawning, I had to like sit and think about that for a minute. And I was like, what's a spawn? <laughs> but I realized it's where you pop up. Then I realized as I answered, um, I don't know, Falador? Incorrect, incorrect answer. Even though I literally play RuneScape. If I really had to think about it, I'm sure I could have come up with multiple city names, but it was in fact the wrong answer. And the correct answer was Lumbridge. And I was so mortified in that moment. And he was like, don't worry, it's Lumbridge. Like we can reshoot that. <laughs> so then they recorded it, bless them. I got to say the right answer, even though he helped me. And then they asked me to start a Pokemon. And thank God, thank God that came to my brain. Lord knows after like 20 years straight of playing Pokemon, surely I could get the original starter Pokemon, correct? Anyway, aside from gaming and the actual facts of the questions asked, what I realized in that moment is that I really don't pay attention to detail if I don't need to. And this isn't necessarily something I'm proud of. This isn't a trait that I enjoy. But uh, along with that, I also don't have good recall. Like I might know something, like if I see something, I will know it. I'll be like, oh, that is this and this is that. Like if I see a photo, I can tell you exactly where I was, what I was doing, everything about it. But it's the recall of that moment that I struggle with. So if you showed me a map of RuneScape or if you gave me like a whole page of all the words, I'd probably be able to tell you, oh, that's the one. If I see it, if I have some kind of indicator of what I'm looking at. But if you just ask me point blank, like the things don't pop up in my brain. Maybe if you give me like a couple minutes where I can really think about it, then it'll come to my mind. But usually I need some kind of like photo or visual reference in order to get something. And I was just so, I it was just, such an embarrassing thing. And I don't love that about myself. I, I really admire people who are so quick and, and can think of things on the fly and who are really witty and things come to their mind instantaneously. Like, what does that feel like to just know that you know the answer and then also be able to spew it out of your mouth from your brain? You know what I mean? I'm putting on Merit Stockholm blush, by the way. Anyway, he ended up giving me the coupon. The whole group of them were so nice. I don't know if anyone watches gaming channels. I don't consume that type of content on YouTube, but they were so kind and they were sore gaming and they said that they're gonna be posting this video with Wendy's. And I was like, LOL. Um, I didn't say anything about my YouTube, obviously. And then he emailed me later and he was like, LOL, the Wendy's team flagged that you were a YouTuber. Just wanted to say hi. I was like, I'm so sorry. I just was so out of your realm. I'm not a true gamer and I'm so embarrassed, but it was really cute, really funny. If you happen to see that video, I have no idea where that video is gonna be, but I thought it was really funny and I was mortified. And I just had a little moment where I had a strong wife realization about my brain and how it functions. And I thought I would share. So there we go. 
um, powder. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be sitting in a theater. I need this, I'm gonna melt off, I'm sure. I was actually struggling with what to wear today because the weather said it's gonna be 22, which again, in Canada could mean two very different things. This could be a hot 22 or that could be a cold 22 and there's absolutely no way to tell until the day continues. So you just gotta layer up and hope for the best. Dior Lip Glow Oil and you know what? I might just bring my mascara with me. I don't really want to put it on right now because um, I can just do it later. I have to tell you guys, this is so cute. In a recent PR package, Chanel sent nail polishes, but they sent it in this cute little pouch with a little mirror. This is my new like purse touch up bag. I'm putting my powder and my lip gloss and things in there and that's what I'm keeping in my purse. It's so adorable. I absolutely changed my outfit, just in case you're wondering. Here we go. We're ready. <laughs> so we've just left the theater. Now we've come to this specific theater because there's only a few theaters across Canada that were actually showing the movie in film. I actually, that was three hours, three hours and 15 minutes. I actually, like I was saying to Dan as we walked out, it was like a really heavy movie to start the day with, but you must see it. The cast is insane, incredible. I don't really know what else to say. I, I literally didn't even watch the trailer before it. I just knew generally what it was about, um, but really like really heavy, fascinating. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Pardon me, that was a telemarketer. It's just one of those moments where you realize that there's very few movies in the world that kind of leave you speechless after you leave and that's how I feel right now. The way that they filmed it obviously is like, it was very powerful. It was filmed in a very powerful way, like literally and with the sound and everything. But the story itself, like if you, you know, it's a, it's a obviously a heavy story and the fact that it's steeped in truth and fact makes you just question your life, you know? <laughs> it was based on the book Prometheus that was written about it and that makes me wanna go read the book and, and learn more for sure and read more up on it. So yeah, it's honestly guys, 15 out of 10 for me. What's your rating? Good 9.5 for sure. 9.5 out of 10. Yeah. Not over 10. I'm surprised. No, it Just... was really good. But hold on, I got a question for you. Oh yeah. Do you think the 70 millimeter IMAX made a difference? I don't know what it would have looked like otherwise, you know? Yeah. But I do think that if you have that option to see it in the, in the 70 millimeter, it was really cool. It was cool seeing it in a more vertical. Yeah, it was like it was almost a screen. square. It was almost a square. Yeah, and and it just added to the it added to the intensity of it almost. It made sure. you feel like you were watching a historical documentary. Yeah, it definitely had that look. Yeah, it was guys like, damn. I don't know. I have to go like think about this for a little while. I have to ponder in silence. Listen, we're boiling. I need to turn on the air. Sorry. If you can hear this, sorry, not sorry. It's freaking hot in here. Our car's been boiling and I'm in a black blazer. So we got it. <laughs> Left the theater and Dan immediately ordered it off of Amazon. It came so swiftly. I was so shocked. It was sold out at all Indigo's, Kohl's, bookstores, everything. We took a look, but it was magically on Amazon. Imagine this isn't the right one. I'm sure it is. Small print, a million pages. I cannot wait to dive into that. I feel like this will be a book that takes me a little bit longer. This is like a learning book. I never read biography style books. I'm kind of excited. That's gonna be a first for me. Listen, on that day, the day of the Oppenheimer <laughs> visual, I posted on TikTok. My thoughts obviously being completely blown away by Oppenheimer and how I'd seen Barbie the weekend before. And that Barbie didn't really tickle my soul. It's, you know, so many people are raving about it and saying it's the best movie in the world. It's such an important movie. It's so good. People are crying. People are like, my mother, life. And for me, the Barbie was visually pleasing. The sets were incredible. The actors are obviously amazing. Margot Robbie is great. And I understand what the movie was trying to tell me, but I didn't feel it in my soul. It didn't um, impact me deeply. Whereas some movies like Oppenheimer and movies where I'm sobbing my face off, like there are movies that make me feel many things unwillingly, but Barbie just didn't do it for me. It was a little bit cheesy. Like I looked at it more of a comedy that's touching on very serious and important things, but it wasn't dramatic for me, nor did it move me to feeling deeply or crying or anything. I don't know how to explain that in uh, many greater words, but yeah, it was so cute. Definitely worth seeing, but I didn't leave it being like, wow, my life, wow. Whereas Oppenheimer, I left and I was like, what is my life? <laughs> like I said already a thousand times, impactful, 
deep feeling all the emotions incredible but yeah anyway there's my movie review my unsolicited movie review that you didn't want or ask for and now we have the book if any of you have read this please do let me know in the comments down below how you got along with it because i've never read such a book i can't wait anywho fam gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for hanging out with me in this vlog and i will see you all very very soon for a new video thanks for watching bye Going that way, I don't know what happened there. Uh, bye.